Aloha, my name is Philip Johnson, and I'm going to be the professor this semester for ICS 491, uh, section 001 or something. But it's a special topics class on improving your software engineering skills through hackathons. Um, and I did create a page um, that you can go to on the web, which is part of the email that I sent to all of you, where you can read through and see what this course is about. Um, in a nutshell, you're going to do two hackathons this semester. Well, you're going to do three things this semester. There's going to be a warm-up application that you're going to build um, for the first month that will get you ready to do the Meteor Hackathon. And the Meteor Hackathon is just like four or five days long. And that happens right before the second hackathon, which is the Hawaii Annual Code Challenge, which is a month-long hackathon. Um, and then following that, you'll have a few weeks at the end of the semester to, um, to clean up your code and, and submit it. Um, the goal for this class is to help you improve your software engineering skills by working in a team and uh, by doing projects that, you know, have the potential to make a difference. It could, they could make a difference by virtue of the fact that you won the hackathon um, and that could, you know, you could get a little bit of money out of that, but more importantly, you'd have a really nice line item for your resume saying, I participated in this hackathon and I won it. Um, it's going to give you a chance to build some um, code that does something interesting and novel. That also is a really good thing to add to your resume. Um, and uh, finally, you know, maybe you can build something that helps other people, which would, would be really great. Um, along the way, I hope that you will come out of the class with better software engineering skills. You'll understand how to work together in a team. You'll understand how to divide up, uh, you know, elicit requirements and then um, uh, design tasks to actually implement the requirements, coordinate the development of those tasks and so forth. So um, lots and lots of things that you'll learn this semester. Now this is a special topics class, which means that there's really not going to be much in the way of lectures um, and that you'll be um, you know, you'll, you'll be kind of on your own to actually make sure you keep up with the material, make sure you actually participate in the hackathons, make sure you actually do the initial assignment. Um, I will send out reminders. I will be available for questions um, and guidance and support, but it's not going to be this proactive thing, you know, where um, if, if, you know, you're not participating, I'm going to go find you and, and try to get you back on board. Okay, this is a 400 level class. Um, and so I am expecting that everybody in this class has a level of maturity and self-discipline um, to, to perform self-guided learning. Okay, so if, if you're not quite there yet, and you want a class which is more structured and where things will be kind of, you know, given to you in small little chunks and so forth, then um, please drop this class and, and, you know, find another one that's better suited to the place you're at with respect to your, you know, your learning and, and your needs. Okay, nothing wrong with not being ready for, for a very, you know, kind of independently oriented course. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you're not there yet, just make sure that you are there if you're going to take this class, however, because otherwise, you know, bad things could happen. Um, and I will say, you know, I mean, bad things might happen in terms of your grade, but also other people will suffer as well. And, and the reason for that is that all of the tasks in this class are group tasks. So you will be working in a group, one or more groups, for the entire semester on the, on the assignments in this class. And so if you're not ready to kind of step up and do your part and be proactive and reach out and so forth, um, then your teammates are going to not have as good a time. Okay, so make sure that, you know, for, for both for your own grade as well as for the experience of other people in the class that you're, you're ready to, to do things. Okay, so um, you can go to this page, read a little bit of overview. Um, the other thing that, um, you know, we won't, a part, I, I provided that web page as a, a kind of a public 
um, overview of what the class for people who are curious. But actually, most of the classwork is going to be done in a Discord server. Um, as the in as part of the email that I sent to you, I sent the link, uh, which is an, uh, the the server invite link, which you should use to um, to join the server for 491, and that's where really um, you know most all the communication for the class is going to happen. I'll send out a couple emails the first week just for people who are getting started, but after that, all of the communication is going to be done in the Discord server. So please make sure you uh, you join the Discord, Discord server as soon as possible. Um, and there's a welcome category at the top. There's a you know welcome to the class. You should read through this. Um, the course structure channel talks about you know kind of the basic dates and when things are going to happen. So you should read through that. There's an FAQ. There's some basic rules for being part of the um, the chant the uh, the server. A little bit on grades. And announcements, you know, as I, I'll, I'll put things in here um, as they come up. Then there's a general chat channel. You can talk about anything you want. There's a questions channel specific. If you have questions about the class, um, you can definitely put them here. And then um, I filled out an assignment one um, section. And so you can start by reading the requirements. So the, the goal of this first assignment is for you to get ready for the Meteor Hackathon, and that means you're gonna create a simple Meteor application for COVID tracking um, that is deployed to the Galaxy hosting environment in their free tier, and this is because that what you'll be, this is what you'll be using for the Meteor Hackathon, so you should get familiar with it. I'm assuming that you folks have all taken 314 before, or if you haven't, that you'll read through the 314 materials on how to work together in a team but I'm gonna expect that you follow those um, practices, issue-driven project management. Um, and then I talk a little bit about the functionality. It's you know not rocket science, it's pretty simple. Um, nevertheless, it probably will take some time um, for you to, to implement and do a good job on. There's three milestones for this assignment. There's a first milestone that's due September 15th, a second one that's due October 1st, and then the final one needs is due on October 14th. That's the day before the Meteor Hackathon starts, right? So you'll go right from this um, into the Meteor Hackathon. Now, you do need to form a team. Um, so I created a channel called Team Memberships. This is where you post, once you've decided who your teammates are, everybody's in agreement, you can post a mess. One of you can post a message to this channel saying these are um, the team, this is my team. If you need a team, you should post a message to this channel, the I Need a Team channel, um, and that's how you can find people. Um, and at, at some point, I will just randomly create teams out of the remaining people who need a team. You know, So um, either you can create a team or I'll create a team, um, and I reserve the right to kind of reorganize teams if you know we need to for load balancing. Um, but hopefully I won't need to. You guys can self-organize. Teams need to be at least two people. They can be up to um, five people. The Meteor Hackathon has a limit of five people in the team, so that's a good um, limit for us. Over five people gets to be a problem, basically because if you have over five people, the, the odds go up dramatically that one person gets iced out and doesn't really do much work, and then they don't get a good grade. Um, so uh, five is, I, I prefer actually smaller teams. I, I like working in a team of about three. It's kind of my optimal three to four. Um, but, um, but if you wanna go up to five, that's, that's fine. All right, so this, is, uh, this should be enough to get you started on the class. Um, go into the server. Uh, you can use the questions channel for any questions you have um, or the, yeah, use the questions channel if you have questions and then I can reply to them there. Um, and should be fun, you know? Um, so um, let's have a good time in this class and I'll, I'll see you in Discord.